on Thursday last week, a train carrying cargo from Mombasa derailed and went off track after its brakes reportedly failed, throwing containers into the swamp near Iganga. The train is not going to be able to get to the train. The train is not going to be able to get to the train. I saw it reversing at a very high speed. Then it reached us here and failed to break. The speed is not going to be able to get to the train. Our initial attempts to access the site were blocked by police. Get permission from URC that I've come to see no accident. Am I allowed to continue? I found a jury. Found a jury? Yes. A journalist is not supposed to get permission to cover an accident. How? You can disorganize this policy market. That could be other things I'm doing, what I do. Have you seen? Then they on my neck. Some of the containers have been lying in water since Thursday, and the owners of the goods who are counting losses blame the railroad operator, Uganda Lairies Corporation, for failing to remove the containers in time. Who is going to take over, take over uh, care of those uh, costs? So, we have a challenge. Delay, first of all. Our containers, first of all, delayed to get here. Now we have to incur another cost of uh, recovery get crane services, private crane services, private transport services to deliver, to see to it that cargo arrives in Kampala where it's supposed to go. Thereafter, incur another cost of demerit charges. Now we have a team on the ground uh, rescuing the cargo. Obviously when that happened, the first point of call was to inform our clients. And as URC, we undertake goods in transit insurance, so we informed our insurers as well, who came on board and on site. I was on site on Thursday that same day to secure the site and secure the cargo of the clients. However, according to the corporation's chief commercial officer, Stephen Wakasenza, says it will take four days to remove the cargo. This would have happened quickly. But the rains have not helped the situation as well. Uganda Railways Corporation has only one rail crane, yet two are needed to remove the wagons and containers. This is a 40-foot container. To carry it, you need two cranes to lift it off ground. And we had our crane on ground, but we needed a second crane. So we brought on the services of a road crane, which I've told you is stuck on ground. We also asked Uganda Railway about its progress in rehabilitating the railroads and equipping the response team at the corporation. We, are, we expect four locomotives, the engines, to come through. The procurement is ongoing and government is going to fund that procurement. There are over 40 tankers of this kind at Uganda Lairies Corporation that have been rusting away for the last 10 years. And each one of these has a capacity of bringing in at least 57,000 liters of fuel. During the lockdown, they were able to bring in 10 million liters of fuel and because of the system that is broken down they can only handle cargo of only 200,000 metric tons and once it's fixed they'll be able to handle at least 1 million metric tons every year and this will reduce the pressure on the roads that are normally broken down because of overloading and according to the UNRWA report it was indicated that Uganda spends at least 200 billion shillings on fixing the road. Yet, the budget for this corporation for only one year is 35 billion shillings. Sudil Biaruhanga, NTV.